Um, the rowing machines we'd use in the national team are exactly the same as you'll get in every single gym. The Concept 2 is, is worldwide, it's universal. Um, and 2,000 metres is the set distance that we do. So I'll, I'll put the caveat in. I'm, I was never the physically strongest in the national team. So Matthew Pinson would have that um, title. But my best over 2,000 metres was 5 minutes 51. So basically averaging <laughs> 1 minute 28 per 500 metres. If I did it now, I'd be about 7 minutes 51. <laughs> but um, now, I mean, those Matthews was 5 minutes 41. And actually, to, very quick story, James and Matthew competing on the rowing machines. James is desperate to beat him. James ends up doing five minutes 45 and literally passes out. Like the last 200 metres <laughs> of his test, his lips have gone blue, his skin's gone white. The very last stroke he takes, he literally falls backwards. But what was impressive, considering they both started at the same point, James has just done five minutes 45, which is absolutely fantastic. But Matthew catches him. Matthew has jumped off his, he's finished his 2000 meters, five minutes 41, and still has the energy to jump off the machine and catch his teammates four seconds later. <laughs> Steve and I were watching that thinking, Matthew could have gone faster if he'd had yeah. to. And Matthew's motto was don't do more than you need to do. So uh, <laughs> Matthew, four Olympic gold medals, the laziest person I've ever met. He <laughs> would always win by about that much. And to, again, maybe to give him credit, you never saw him lose. He was very, very good at judging it. But to anyone from the outside, you'd think, oh, that was close. Maybe he just didn't want to crush your spirits. <laughs> but I think that was part of that. I think, yeah, I mean, actually, I, I mean, actually you said, oh, do we keep in contact? I, I bump into his wife at a few events recently, and we both agree Matthew's lazy. But um, for Matthew, say so literally I could quote you 100 races where Matthew has won by fractions of a second. And I've never seen him lose a close wow. race. Like he's very, very good at judging. And this example, I say, go back to the rowing machine. Yeah, his was five minutes forty-one, which was a British record, and it stood for twenty years. And yet he could still jump up off the machine. His lung. We did some physiological testing, and actually they recalibrated the machine because they'd never seen lungs that big in a human. He basically <laughs> had the size of an average racehorse. Like, so the average. I think we were doing VO two max. And the average human's like three litres. His was over eight litres. Um, wow. So it was just sort of an engine sort of, yeah. He had this rather V12 engine where the rest of us were, were working off four cylinders, I think. Amazing. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I'm much... just jealous because he, he, he used to do stuff without breaking into sweat that was me flat out. But yeah, that was... How much did he weigh? He's, he's quite a big lad. He was big, but that was where I would get the relative advantage. So my race weight was only 86, 87 kilos, whereas his was best part of 110. So, wow. I mean, he, he's a big, he's a big fella. He's even bigger now, but um, yeah, sure. um, he's always just, just naturally sort of very broad, very powerful. So yeah. he's got these, these, this lung capacity. Um, but say our average weight was 100 kilos, but I was only 86 of those. So. So he was balancing you up then. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so do you put him, you don't put him in the front of the boat because you have to end up the, <laughs> the, the rest of us <laughs> struggle to reach the water at the other end. But 